SQL. You might have seen this function in Gmail or in WordPress, where, when user enters large text in text area or an HTML editor, system starts saving data automatically in database so that if something wrong happens then user will not lose his or her data which he or she entered by spending ample amount of time. So, here we are having a table and database, by using jQuery Ajax. We will insert the data at first time and then we'll go updating data after some specific time period. So friends this my simple table with name TBL post with four column name posted which is primary key and auto increment. Other column is post title, post description and post status. Friends this is my simple HTML. I have used bootstrap CSS and jQuery framework. First friends I define first text box for enter post title with name post title and it is also post title. Now I define text area for entering post description with name post description and it is also post description. Friends now I define one hidden HTML field for storing posted with name posted and it is also posted. Friends now I define div with it auto save. In this div I will display post auto save message. Now friends I write jQuery code for auto save data. In this jQuery code I have defined one function with name auto save. In this function first I define one variable post title. In this variable I store post title text box value. Now friends I define new variable post description. In this variable I store post description text area value. In this function I define new variable with name posted. In this variable I store value of hidden field. In this field I store posted. Now friends I will will check if post title and post description has some value. If both have some value then I will call Ajax function and data automatically save in database otherwise no action will perform. Now friends if both post title and post description have some value, so I write Ajax function for auto save data in database in regular time interval. In Ajax function there is first parameter is URL, a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. Second parameter is method, in Ajax function by default get method but I have used post method. Third is data, data to be sent to the server. Here I have sent three data to server like post title, post description and post id. Fourth is data type that means the type of data that you are expecting back from the server. I have write text because I want back data from server in string format. And lastly is success, this is a function to be called if the request succeeds. In this we can get data returned from the server. Here I want to get posted if post saved first time. For this I will check data has some value. If data has some value then this value is assigned to hidden posted field. From this hidden fields we will get posted for future. After this and div with it auto save I will display message post save as draft. Suppose friends I want to remove this message after some time then I have used set interval method. In this method we can define time interval. I have defined 2000 means after 2 seconds this message will hide. So friends I have make this function for auto save post data. Now friends I have used set interval method, this method calls a function or evaluates an expression at specified intervals in milliseconds. Set interval method will continue calling this function which I have made. Friends I have defined 10,000 that means every 10 seconds this function will call. Now friends I have create one page with name save post.php. In this page first I have create database connection. After making database connection first I have check posted have some value or not. 
posted which I have posted in data in Ajax function. In posted I have store value of posted. If posted has some value that means post already inserted into database so we have to update data. If posted has no value means insert fresh post data into database. If posted has some value that means I have write update query. In update query I will update post title and post description where posted is equal to posted get from Ajax data parameter. Here post title and post description value will get from Ajax data parameter. Now friends I execute this query. Here friends Ajax success function will not get any data. Now friends suppose posted has no value means post data is not entered into table. So here I will enter fresh data into table. So I have write insert query for enter data like post title, post description and post status. Here post title and post description value will get from Ajax data parameter. Friends now I execute this SQL query using miscly query. Here friends we will send back inserted posted to Ajax success function. Inserted posted can be get by using miscly inserted function. Now friends see output. Friends first I enter post title and then after post description and wait for a moment. Oh post save messages appear on the web page. Now friends I see into database table. So finally post data are inserted into database table. Suppose friends I make some changes into this post and wait for a moment. Changes in post is updated into database also. So finally our code is working. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my